Did any of y'all get a chance to listen to Lloyd Banks' new uh, mixtape? I did. I did. I, I did not. You not hip hop. Hey, hey yo, man. Queens nigga put some music out. You gonna go listen. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere else across shout, the world. Shout out to Bino. Bino, Bino sent it to me. Shout out to Banks. Halloween Havoc yeah, 4. Shout out, to shout out to Banks. Friend of the show. That's my man. Shout out to Blue. That's, That's my right. man's deeper than music with me and Banks. I care about him. Facts. I will oh. get to the music though, because that boy is good. Mm -hmm. That boy is good. Yeah, he's rapping. Any, any takeaways? From the tape, I yeah. mean, it was a solid tape. Another solid tape. He's, he's been on a run of delivering uh, consistent, good projects for the past couple of years. Yes. And it's it good to hear him again. Like, just, like you said, consistent. Yeah. Banks was real quiet for a long he time. He was. He was. And now it's like, I got the leisure to drop whenever I want. He said he did his tape in three days. Okay. So, not mad at it. But... I'm then, done with rappers in that, that line. That yeah, line, I don't care. It's over. Although I, I don't write. I, yeah, yeah, I did this however long it took you, I don't care. Yeah. Is it fire? I don't no. even need to say it. Yeah, that's yeah, all we care about. It was fire. It was hot. I like it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That was a thing back when me and Banks was out. So I get it. But now it don't, it don't matter. A lot, yeah. a lot of the rappers today, real quick, should stop saying they don't write. Like some of y'all should, should write, write, try to yeah, write. Yeah, yeah. Like this sit down Banks, and try to put some way. thoughts. Yeah. No, 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 not Banks. We good with him. Um, but then he also announced that he's going to do Cold Corner 3. Okay. And he's gonna sell it himself for a hundred dollars. Yep. Okay. okay. Not mad. You goddamn right. That's what he said. And he received a, quite a bit of backlash. A lot of backlash. Really? A lot, yes. a lot, a lot of, backlash. of backlash. It was a lot. Because why? that sounds crazy to people who don't know shit. Okay. That's no, why. That sounds crazy and to people who don't pay for shit. Right. That's really what. That it sounds is. crazy. Here, I'll take it a step further. In the great words hey. of a great man. That sounds crazy to the people that consume music today. Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. Because you pay $10 that, a month for anything. The people that pay $10 a month or $12 a month, whatever it is, and get every song from these streaming platforms, that is where the music business is, mm -hmm. right? Like, when I was a kid and we used to get the, the little pamphlet shit, whatever it was, with the 99 CDs yeah. for... 10 cent or a dollar or whatever the fuck it was. That Columbia was a, House. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. BMG. 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 Yeah. Get that it was back a, in blood. <laughs> that was a dream. I want to I want to say that this is first of all dope and as someone who has put out music through like Bandcamp or some of these sites where they can kind of pay whatever, I have had multiple supporters spend that kind of money on a $10 project. So it's not crazy. And I've bought projects in the same manner. Someone I just like and support. You putting this out, pay whatever you want. I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars. I fuck with your shit. There's nothing wrong. It's, it ain't for everybody, but there's gonna be enough people that love your shit that will pay whatever you put the ticket at. And I'm probably gonna make more money than if I put it on a DSP. A hundred percent. No, probably about it. There's That's no the problem. part yeah. that y'all keep missing. No like, yo, dog. I, I don't care if. Like, listen, listen. The beautiful thing about cultivating a real fan base who really will support you is that right there. I yes. can go put a project out. Hey, it only take a couple of y'all to buy it. I'm going to make more money off of this small percentage of y'all that buy it than if I go throw it up on a DSP and get .001 cent a stream. Me and my partner, Passport Gift, have put out a bunch of projects. In, in the last couple of years, we put it out on Bandcamp first. Shout out to Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. And we make more money off the week or two that it's there by itself than we do getting hundreds of thousands of streams per song for the whole album. So, salute. <laughs> There's no money in streaming, yo. And your real supporters will support you. So at a hundred dollars, if if two thousand people bought your shit, you made two hundred grand. Yeah, yeah. And take, it the would map, take you forever. The map is a lot more favorable. Right, take mm -hmm. you forever to make two hundred grand from streaming. You won't make it. Well, they got some going around now that says uh, uh, a million streams is worth twenty five cent on Spotify. Spotify is low. Their their what? their cut is like it's point oh. They said twenty five cent. And I, yeah, and I don't even know that to be accurate. I don't but, know if that's accurate, but I, I it's 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 bad. There's a little calculator that you can find. I forgot who posted it. It may have been Billboard or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you can punch in the streams you want. You're not making any actual money until you're getting into hundreds of millions of streams. And Which listen, is really fucking hard to get, by the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. And most artists don't even get to that level. This also, I believe, is the future of music. I agree. This is the future of music. The same way that I said the shows would become a luxury ticket a luxury item music is going in that direction and and the people that will be first to that party are the people that own their rights mm -hmm. and own their music 
And if you own your music, Lloyd Banks, that's another reason I don't like that. It took me three days to do this shit. We are already the cheapest art in the world. Mm -hmm. And we not. I don't look at it that way. I don't look at us that way. I don't look at the music that way. I don't look at the effect, the impact that it has in the world that way. What you mean when you say we're the cheapest art? It's the cheapest. It's the cheapest. The cheapest are in the world. These songs cost ninety nine cent. Mm -hmm. This album, this EP, cost four ninety nine. This project is ten ninety nine. I don't think that uh, any fan should be able to get a future album for nine ninety nine. Mm. Word. No fan <laughs> should be able to buy a, a Drake album for nine ninety nine. Word. That's a good point. Why? Really good point. That's wrong. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you don't control if you don't control your shit, I'm not talking about them no more. If you on the lay if you in the if you in that major label system, then you kind of sign up for certain things. Lloyd Banks is not. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Fab is figuring out a way now. Some of the people that already went through all of that shit now are figuring out ways to finally reap the benefits of my, their my their, their music. And when you do that and you just start playing around with numbers like you just did. Everybody is going to eventually sell their music for more than ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. Everybody don't have the everybody don't have the privilege of going to get that live show, arena, stadium right. money. Everybody can't go get a Happy Meal deal, Waffle mm -hmm. House deal, mm -hmm. Burger King deal. The alternative for the people that are not playing that game, and that game is only 10 percent of music. Not right. even. Not even. Not, not even. even close. Yeah. Everybody else got to do it the other way. Because to sustain, the only way to get to the, uh, I think it was, a, I really do think it was a hundred million streams to have like a hundred thousand dollar a year kind of income. I thought I was looking it up. Yeah, well, I, was, I was looking up in this. Um, Spotify, <laughs> it says the average price per stream is point oh oh four, which is four dollars for every thousand streams. So for a million streams, it's four grand. Wow. See that? that's ridiculous. But even that, you still got to pay out your. Mm -hmm. That ain't four grand in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's four grand that this song made from here. And you still, whatever your splits is in your contract, mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. it comes out of that. For a million. For streams. a million streams on Spotify. Some of these other ones are even worse. And that's just the artists. That's the artists, right? That's before the splits and all that, right? Yeah. 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 That's low level. Slow, that's, that's, slow. that's the low level business. Because the big business is I'm the label. Y'all are, are my artists. All of y'all are platinum and do numbers now i'm gonna go cut the deal with spotify, spotify as the label directly. for all of my acts so you can continue to have that music license it's the labels negotiating your rights the way they're supposed to be negotiated not you you mm -hmm. don't even have that phone number right you can't you're not invited in that level of conversation yeah this uh this streaming calculator i'm using for a hundred million streams would get you three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. A hundred million. A hundred. You gotta bust that streams. down still. And you, yeah, you gotta bust still it down. Most like unless you're a of course super you unicorn and you can do literally everything yourself, which not many people can. So if I'm Lloyd Banks today, I I can assume I can spe I can forecast that I'm not getting one hundred million streams. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Right, because that's, that's that's not going to happen, especially now where the labels and their subsidiaries control most of the playlisting, which is the only realistic way to get to those to get kind to of those numbers. Because gotcha. yeah. people aren't gotcha. the biggest fan yeah. in the world. How many times are you streaming uh, your favorite artist's sure. single song? Like, right. maybe maybe a couple hundred times in a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a year, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you got to have that or streaming farms galore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Lloyd Banks, it's a, and Lloyd Banks got a family and always been low and to himself. He don't want to go on the road with you niggas. Mm -hmm. He don't. Pop out a couple I'm, times. I'm sure, yeah. they, they, I'm sure they've approached him about G-Unit reunion, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure he's had conversations. And he's probably been on the road. But do I think Lloyd Banks he's always on the road. want to depend and rely on going on the road for the bulk of his income? No, I don't believe that. And like, and like you just said, Park said 100 million streams get you 300 grand. Three three fifty, and I said, and yo, I, two thousand people buy your shit at a hundred dollars a pop. Grand. You had two hundred grand, right? All I need to sell is two thousand, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Or, and when you have that fan base, like I remember when Nip did it with the Proud to Pay campaign with Crenshaw tape, which yeah. I think was twenty twelve, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, I'm gonna put it over here, but if you really fuck with me, buy it directly for me for the hundred dollars, and he sold it out. I still he still threw it on streaming. He still Eventually. threw it on no. It all at the same time. 
Oh, uh, was it? Yes. I thought it came out later. Nope. On stream. No, it was all at the same time. I remember because okay. I bought it on iTunes. Mm. I downloaded it from that Piff and I paid the $99 all at the same day. And they killed him. They did. Yeah, because it, it's the same they argument killed, I'm seeing about Bing. They killed Nipsey for that. Mm. And then, well, then Hove came and bought 100 mm. and then that story went out. Then the dick rider. All it takes mm-hmm. is for something to happen for the sheep to be like, True. okay, that might be a vibe. Oh, shit, mm-hmm. if Hove already bought 100, that means that Nipsey already made such and such. That's what they started doing. Yep. And then you did. see how it can start to be fruitful. And then you see how if anybody owns their own shit, why would you do that? My project, whenever it come out, will never be $10. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm beating that 100 that they keep doing. New Joe Biden.